How about this then? Maxillaria variabilis on my channel, known lovingly as Cousin It. Let's find the favorable side. Is there one? Because he is just going nuts. Maybe this one. Going absolutely nuts with blooms. And this is surprising because he normally blooms end of January. There we go, the look is complete. What a sight for sore eyes. Such a cool sight that he's a danger to anything outside of his realm and has been flanked by his two bodyguards, the stands. No ID stands for the time being, but we call them bodyguards here now because Cousin It looking is so fabulous. Yeah, he could be taken away at a moment's notice, absconded. Fun and games aside, thank you so much for joining me. It's been a long time since I've been able to do a Blooms For You series in honor of all of my subscribers and my viewers and anybody that watches this video for the first time. Welcome and thank you so very much for being here. Now, this series is dedicated to everybody that leaves comments in my, and when I see subscriber names pop up, they get put on a list and then I go through the list bit by bit in order to say thank you and name you. If you do not want to be named and yet you're subscribed or leave a comment, then I respect that as well but I would like you then to let me know and I will make sure that I respect your wish and not name you. If I don't hear that preference, then I'm just going to rattle off your name one day and say, this bloom is for you. But also, things have changed a little bit. Hello, you're losing blooms already, cousin it. So let me just uh, say that I am so, so grateful for the jump in subscribers in the last four weeks. I so appreciate it very, very much. Very kind of you to be here. And the normal format was I would dedicate a bloom, a spike to a specific subscriber. And if I do that, we'll be here for a long, long time, even if nobody subscribed from this day forward. I hope that won't be the case, but what I'm going to do now, if I have like a mass blooming, I will take an orchid if it's a mass blooming and I will put some names in a group and thank these individuals as a group, as opposed to waiting so long to get to individual names. This is a fantastic problem to have. I am not complaining. I just hope that everybody, if you are grouped into a dedication and a thank you, please do not think that I think any, any lesser of you it's more the urgency for me to get to you so that nobody feels like, well, hey now, I've been subscribed for six months and you still haven't mentioned my name. So that's what I want to avoid. That is my intention, is to get to subscribers and commenters as fast as possible. Meanwhile, I do actually always say at the beginning that a bloom, or in this case, cousin it, is dedicated to everyone that watches this video in order to say thank you and appreciate you even though I don't name you. I have a few blooms that have opened. Some have already gone past their prime, but I managed to capture them on time and let's get on with it and have a look-see and say thank you so very, very much to everyone. This gorgeous orchid is so pretty. She gets her bodyguards today. Stand one and stand two, flanking her, keeping her safe. This is Brassocatlia Binosa Wabash Valley. And I am dedicating this bloom to Mini Garden Alice, who has been in my comments in Portuguese. So thanks to Google Translator, I try to honor the comments in, in the language and get to the translation and respond and I hope that Google Translator is pretty accurate and doesn't say something off. But Mini Garden Alice, I don't know if you understand a word I'm saying, so I'm just going to say your name again, Mini Garden Alice, but I would have really, really hope that you get to see this video and then know that I want to thank you for your kind support and your comments on my channel 
by giving you the spike of two blooms, the second spike, mind you, of my Pinosa Wabash Valley. I'm always fascinated by orchid names. And some of them are a little bit more striking than others. And some are able, actually, I can find out why they were called what they were called. So Binosa is the combination of the Brassavola nodosa parents and Cattleya bicolor. Binosa. Bicolor nodosa. Get it? Yeah. Instead of nodosa B, they've changed it around. I would have thought that if you're using nodosa crossed with bicolor, Anyway, they made it into Binosa, which is fine. I can remember that. And Wabash Valley, I was wondering where they got that from. So I, I don't really know. Maybe it was somebody that had a beautiful one and then, then took it to a show and had it named based on where he or she lived and grew that orchid. Because Wabash Valley is partly in Illinois and Indiana and named after the Wabash River. So the term Wabash Valley is actually frequently used in local media for the areas and towns of Clinton, Lafayette, Mount Carmel, Princeton, Terre Haute, and Vincennes. All of these towns are actually located either on or near the lower Wabash River. So there you go. I believe somebody grew the Binosa and then took it to a show and had a stunning specimen and here I have a cut of the Wabash Valley version of the Binosa. And all of that information came from Wikipedia. <laughs> and I had to write it down, I couldn't remember it. <laughs> anyway, Mini Garden Alice. Just a little side note, she is not fragrant despite having the Brassavola nodosa in her. No fragrance whatsoever. But it's very, very pretty nonetheless. And these blooms are now four days old. The top ones you can see up there. They've been open now almost a month. Very, very beautiful. I love green blooms, especially if they then have a contrast like we have with this lip. A very elegant bloom, love it. So Mini Garden Alice, I'm so pleased that I could dedicate these two blooms to you as a thank you. Obrigado. Damned if you do and damned if you don't. <laughs> but having said that, this is my Dendrobium tetragonum variety giganteum and I am about to miss the mark here on some blooms so let's just pretend that you never saw this. I already missed to film this and I have three blooms going over. There are still plenty left though and based on the new concept I'm going to name a group of people that I really appreciate and dedicate what remains of my Dendrobium tetragonum blooming to Bernie Long, primitive hashtag Palzor, Jianyui Mei, Aileen Tigesen or Tigesen, your next cast, and R. Sayar. Because of the fact that we are now with more subscribers and I haven't been able to film blooms because they hadn't opened in a timely manner, more subscribers have arrived. I am going to be, as mentioned, grouping everybody that pertains to an orchid now so that I can not be here for 10 years and people just don't get mentioned. I want you to know that I see you, that I appreciate you and thank you very, very much for your support. And for that reason, I am grouping up my Dendrobium tetragonum blooming with some buds facing the wrong way to all of you as a thank you. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Unfortunately, minus the three would have been 16 blooms. 
I was actually waiting for everybody to open up, but timing was off and I was really fighting the bugs, trying to take the buds down and on one spike, they won. Having said that, she is still gorgeous and she smells beautifully. She doesn't have that acrid smell that she had last year, the one where I always akin to aluminum being cut on a building site, this very acrid, pungent smell in your nose. That is gone. She is now just delicious and sweet and doing really well, except for the bugs that want to take out my buds and blooms before their time is due. So this is her first blooming of the second cycle of the season. She already bloomed last spring and that was her second cycle of the first season. So she grew this growth here this summer and this is her first flush of blooms. I am expecting another flush later on, probably early next year, February, maybe around then, there'll be another flush of blooms. Maybe not as many because she has already bloomed through a lot of the apexes double. I'm very surprised to see the lower ones having thrown out another bloom, but never mind. She will actually give us another flush even before she decides to grow anything. So a little bit more on this orchid, a little bit more information. I will link a video down below that I made specifically focusing on this orchid and her growth habit. In the meantime, I do really, really want to thank Bernie, Primitive, Palzor, Jianyu Mei, Aileen, Thigesen, your next cast and RCR for your support on my channel. And I really appreciate having you here. I hope that you are doing well in your part of the world. If I do not hear from you before Christmas, then allow me to take this opportunity to wish you very, very happy holidays. If you're not celebrating, no problem. There's still a holiday because businesses are shut down. So enjoy the time relax and I hope to see you soon in the next video. Thank you ever ever so much. This is an IOU dedication to KM Zoo because if you remember the last time I was waiting for more spikes to open on my Bellara Peggy Ruth Carpenter and well Yes, they are here now, but at the time, I didn't have but one spike to dedicate to you. So, here are the others. A little bit away from the format that I mentioned earlier, but again, this is an IOU, KM Zoo. Your support and everything means a lot to me. And when I say that there's more coming, here they are. And just to give you another shout out and thank you very, very much for supporting my channel. I'm telling you that these aphids are loving, loving the peppery fragrance of this orchid. And despite the fact I have two more spikes to go, there's one here with two buds. I am not waiting any longer because the aphids, even though I wipe them off daily, they're the little tiny itty bitty green ones, you know? They are just aggressive, aggressive. So I'm not going to risk it. I do have this IOU to fulfill as a massive thank you for being on my channel and supporting me with your presence, with your subscription, with your comments. I hope you're doing well, that you're enjoying a blisteringly hot summer and the preparations for your holiday activities is actually going as smooth as can be and you're all ready and set to go. So KM Zoo, thank you very much. Wishing you a very, very happy Christmas, your family and everybody that means the world to you. Appreciate having you here and this, Bellara Peggy Ruth Carpenter blooming 
I owe you. I am so glad I managed to get that done. I felt a little bit guilty the last time. Thank you, KM Zoo. He's just chilling, living his best life. Look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful sight. These popping blooms here. Gorgeous. My maxillaria variabilis, or excuse me, cousin it, is not fragrant, but abundant for sure. Abundant for sure. And this will go on for another couple of months, maybe. But his best is yet to come, and we shall see him again often as my introduction. So thank you everybody so very much, everybody for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, would you consider doing so? And then let me know that you have subscribed in the comments below because then I would love to put you on the list as well and be able to find blooms as they come and dedicate them to you. I really appreciate every everybody that does take the step to subscribe to my channel. Thank you, thank you, stay safe and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.